Hello, you've reached Tyler with Theater Design Company. We are going to open up our mystery box from Epic Sky Technologies. Okay, so I've cut away the box. Let's see what we got here. So, not really anything exciting right off the first view here. Oh, got the advanced controllers. I know what those are. Three of them. The weight is power supplies, so four of them. And then we have a ton of RGBW LED flexible light strips. But the coolest thing is definitely going to be on the bottom. Get to that. So we have some more power supplies, larger power supplies. We have a star ceiling kit. Okay, so I've unboxed our package from Epic Sky, and uh, I've separated the star ceiling kit for two reasons. One, I'm going to do a separate video on the star ceiling kits. We have a bunch of customers that want to know how they work and how they're installed, so we'll uh, give an overview on that with how they're powered, how they work, how the lighting goes, um, and how to control them with uh, either a control system such as RTI or remote control. Um, getting back to the theater demo, what we have here is a theater that has six zones of lighting plus a star ceiling. So kind of seven lighting elements overall. The first lighting element is our steps. So we have steps going down either side of the theater. Uh, it's just a single step, but I still wanted to light it. So this is why you're seeing just a yellow and white. This is a warm white, super low wattage. Um, you know, they go by length. So we have a 60 watt power supply. Um, Epic Sky supplies a, a power cord for it, which we generally toss out because we uh, manually wire them in using a DIN rail. Um, I'll go over that because we have a couple different things that uh, are working in this theater. One, we have a low voltage room that has uh, equipment racks and panels. We also have a ceiling mounted uh, metal enclosures that have DIN rails in it that are running some of the lights for the, uh, the bar and the entry to the theater. So getting back to it, this one here, we'll run the step lights. Our second one over is actually using an advanced controller, a 320 watt power supply that's fan cooled. You got a power cord, and then again, you have the RGBW lighting, and if you note here, this one is much brighter at 23 watts. So what this zone does, this is on the sheet, which you don't see, but this is actually the second zone of lighting as far as it's laid out. And this does the up lighting and the speaker lighting behind the screen for the LCR, the subs, the two side speakers, um, so we can have like a demo mode when we're either done at the theater or before that will light up all the speakers you see. Um, it looks like the demo room is going to get in-ceiling rear speakers that adjust out to uh, hit the rear, so we won't light those up because that would look odd. The third zone of lighting is the uh, soffit, so the star ceiling goes above, but we have a track soffit that goes in. Um, I'll send a picture into the video that has uh, when I'm the LED track that we use. And again, RGBW and uh, the wattage on these ones are 19.2. And then the fourth zone of RGBW type lighting um, or LED strip um, is for the pathway lighting. It's basically all the way around the room uh, in built into the trim will be a half inch black frosted uh, channel that has LED lighting all the way around it. And that can be dimmed or set to different moods or different video um, applications. So if we're playing gaming, maybe on an Xbox, we could actually set that to green. If we're watching the Seahawks, we could have that one to green, and then we could have the soffit to blue. Um, and it's infinite color. Roughly, we have 512 color choices with this system. Um, so again, we have power supply, power cord, and advanced controller. The system itself uses three advanced controllers to run the RGBW lighting. Since the pathway lighting is gonna run off a Lutron Radio Ross switch, we won't worry about that with anything that's 232 controlled. Um, we'll, we'll run that off the Radio Ross system um, and it may be serial controlled or IP controlled depending. Um, quick overview on that is we'll end up using basically a Radio Raw hub shown here. So just a main repeater and we'll end up either using the ethernet IP control or the serial control for that. So that controls the, uh, the Lutron controls the sconce lights, the step lights, 
and then it also controls um, light cans that are uh, frenched into the ceiling in the soffit that shoot down. Those are wall washing lights. So that's your that's your seven zones total when you factor in the star ceiling. Thing I missed on this is that the last zone that runs around the pathway with the advanced controller has two 320 watt power supplies. The reason for that is that the length exceeds the first power supply. So we will run those in parallel to get the extra wattage needed to run those lights effectively. The other thing to note is that the power supply for the step lights, as well as the star ceiling, are DIN rail mounted. So these were pre-planned uh, before the theater was even taking shape that these would run into a, a separate utility room that is a good 25 feet away. And we have a, a switches in there that'll run a, a DIN rail switch for the step lights, and then it'll run a DIN rail um, switch slash power supply for the star ceiling. That's what you've got there. So here we have basically the overview of the control system for lighting. So we have our advanced controllers, we have our radio raw system, we have the Epic Link, which is running the star ceiling, and then not show, we have a RTI XP8 processor that will control these off serial. Um, and then also not showing is the DIN rail uh, modules that run the, basically run two different things. They're gonna run the star ceiling and they're gonna run the pathway lighting and those will not be Lutron. And then we have the Lutron switches, which are shown um, in a different video that are in the wall. So those will roll the sconce lights and the uh, soffit lights that run down for the wall washers. Those are using standard Lutron Radio Raw um, dimmer switches. Um, so you got a Lutron Radio Raw system at a few hundred dollars. You have uh, a couple Radio Raw uh, switches at 125 to 150 a piece, depending on which version we do. You have an Epic Link, which is a couple hundred dollars. And then you have advanced controllers, which roughly run, I think, $400 a piece to control the lighting. And then we have our various power supplies here. So you've got the uh, 60 watt, which is running the step lights. And you've got only a 20 watt to run the star ceiling, which is uh, why I want to do a separate video on how that works. And then you have 320 watt, which we have four of them for this. So I'll do some math and add it into the... Uh, the video here to give you the the wattage of 12 volt low voltage and then give you some better uh, overview of this stuff um, later on in this video so let's do a quick overview on the epic controller here um, it's the advanced pro so what you've got here is uh let's go to the bottom first here you have rs232 in you've got a 5 volt y of 5 power uh, do not use, which I actually don't know what that is, so I'll have to look that up. Uh, mode 1, Mode 2, and uh, you have RS-232 out and RS-232 in. And I actually recall the do not uh, use is for uh, programming. And then here's the important stuff. You have your uh, dip switch settings, and then you have your uh, output for the LED output. So you have, uh, you know, white, blue, green, red, um, basically RGBW, and then you have your... Uh, plus minus in 12 to 24 volts and uh, this thing can do a uh, pretty high wattage on it and then you have some other really neat kind of neat features you can actually plug let's see if I can get in there you can uh, plug a couple things in here and um, actually have an indicator light on like a smart panel or a thing of that sort that will tell you um, you're, if you're, you're running RGBW or white on a panel and then of course there's your, your addresses um, for that so the address feature allows us to use a serial cable and then uh, set these things to the 232 in and out to save a little bit of cabling. So again, it's uh, packed super well. Um, Tonight's feature. So we've got to find some real estate because we have uh, three of these. We have an Epic controller. We have a few other processors to run all this lighting. I'm going to do a quick overview of the Epic Sky website on the items that are related to our demo room. I think this will help in uh, giving a quick overview of what we actually do on these rooms. So what we have here is uh, Advanced Pro Controller is uh, kind of our main piece in this room. You can see it's the uh, same as what we received. 
let you do all the colors handles up 500 watt of power it's got our 232 control and then we can connect multiple modules and then the key factor for us is it works uh, independently or integrated into whole house 30 part control systems such as uh, RTI which we're using in our our uh, demo room and you can see some additional specs and mounting holes uh, we kind of went over a bunch of this stuff as well there's your specs 500 watts of power so and you've got the additional accessories we've talked about in some other videos such as the uh, Wi-Fi interface, uh, IR receiver, um, Symphony and Melanie, and then uh, you can do remote momentary switch on them. So that kind of gives you an overview on that. And then if we jump into the other items on our system, so we have uh, on here we have our 232 control, which we did. We have our Epic Link, and so this is doing our star ceiling 232 control. This will run through, and you've got uh, Epic Wi-Fi. We're not doing Wi-Fi because we're doing the third-party automation system. And again, uh, simple 12 volt power, um, DB, DB9 connection for the 232. And uh, this thing can actually use to do control other things. So you can use it for uh, perimeter lighting, uh, interface it in with your Wi Fi interface, uh, mini down lights, which we have done before. Uh, and of course, the panel systems for stars. And then the other items that Epic Sky does, other than our star kits here, we have that in our room. And you've got your uh, templates for your star ceiling kits, which we've gone over. And then give you an idea of what else they do. They do a bunch of other items here. So here's a here's a quick shot: touchscreen control, Wi-Fi control, or Epic Link phone control. And then work our way down. And then the other neat thing on this is if you go to the uh, custom acoustic star panel kits and go down to the marketing brochure. This gives you a really good idea of uh, everything Epic Sky, even though this is their marketing brochure for their star ceiling. You can see their other LED lighting features. These are all projects that Epic Sky have done, or what other AV dealers have done. So you've got Cove Lighting, and you've got their planets. So Galaxy, there's their shooting star right here. And then the moon, which is really cool. You can do that. And then you've got your uh, touchscreen controller, um, which is great. We, we can do this as well. We just wouldn't do their touchscreen control. We would use RTI and interface it in. But, it, you know, if someone didn't have a control system, this would probably be our second bet here. There you go. And then you've got the melody. So pretty neat little features. So summer breeze, shooting stars, ocean, just a ton of stuff you can do. And then symphony. And then uh, another room there they've done with some star ceilings with multiple colors. So we have our Epic Sky star ceiling kit times two. This does the uh, theater room in our demo. Um, we're using double strands here uh, for a little bit extra light. The soffit's actually not too large. We could have got away with one, but I wanted to have a lot of star field and light. Um, so you've got their star kit controller. And the way that works is you can see those light modules run directly in with those light modules. They are super low wattage. You're literally running a 20 watt power supply to run these. They give you a power cord for it. And then optional is a Epic Link 232 controller. This allows you to control this with a remote controller and RTI system. Okay, so what I've done on this star kit is I've just thrown some 12-volt uh, power to it. You can see you've got a couple indicator lights. The star kit, fiber optic star kit, literally takes 12-volt power supply here that can be run remotely. We use a 12-2 wire. You can run about 30 or 40 feet with no problem. It's got its serial communications in and out, and then it's got some mode switches, which I'll go over when we start setting this up in an additional video. And then, as you can see, you've got a fiber optic strand here that's not hooked up and one that is hooked up. And then what you've got is individual fiber strands that run out. And what these do is go through our star ceiling kit um, that we fabricate. We basically use a uh, NOF insulation board, usually a number six pound. And then Guilford and Main Onyx fabric, which 
we glue onto it and then we literally individually poke every one of these strands through in a random pattern. Now it should be noted that Epic Sky also makes star kits that have uh, basically shooting stars, um, constellations, um, and different effects. They'll actually build out anything custom for us so we can do um, a lot of different things. So here are a few things that the Epic Sky Technology Company does. We have a couple great people we work with for custom projects. So if I jump over to the star ceiling system here, um, we don't do the drop ceiling things in commercial. Um, I guess we could, but we don't. Uh, we do the custom acoustic panels. So you can see here's a picture of a star ceiling. This is built kind of per this video. So they're using a, uh, a knob for uh, some sort of brand. It's probably Owens Corning uh, insulation board. And they'll wrap that in a Guilford domain or a fabric of your choice. There's a few different fabrics they can use. Uh, but this gives you the effect. You can kind of see some of the stuff we're, we're working with here. Um, the all rated materials, we, we do the same thing. Star effect, you see it's dimmable via the controller. You got cove lighting, which we have on our other videos um, and in our demo room. Uh, serial control, to do serial, you have to use a little Epic link, which is also shown in this video. But I'll just give you a good idea of uh, what Epic Sky can do. They have their controllers, Fusion, Link. Uh, Wi-Fi, uh, DMX controllers, you pretty much name it, they can do it. And uh, we were talking about some of the custom stuff they do. So here is just a few of the things they do. So you can imagine a little star battle uh, with fiber optics and a few things. Um, pretty cool. I've seen it at a few of the trade shows. I haven't done one yet. I'd love to do one. And uh, you got star accessories. So you can go, uh, this is how we actually mount it. Various different things here to do power. We have most of this stuff in stock already. So, and then you've got some special effects here. So music, pretty neat. Uh, if you're if you're watching this YouTube video, search Epic Sky and, and watch some of their videos as well. Here's your melody. There's their moon. That's really cool. I've seen that in person as well. And then I think the last thing is I think they have some templates, which we talked about a little bit in this video. Yes. So there's constellations, your uh, shooting star, things of that sort, uh, meteor shower, there's the moon, the planets, solar system, and then uh, lighting. So a ton of stuff that Epic Sky does. Um, I'm just going to concentrate on the star ceiling because that's what this video is all about. And I think on uh, the demo room video that we're also making, um, showing the products going in our demo room, we'll go over everything, their LED controllers, their products. Um, probably won't go over their literature, but this will give you a good overview of what we got going on. Again, I'm, I'm running this off a test power supply, but we'd have our power cord, we'd have our other larger power supply, and then uh, we would run our star kit. So again, this hides up. We usually flush these in to the ceiling in a little niche or a control box, and then our star ceiling, star ceiling kit flushes on those directly. So not the most exciting video. We don't have the lights. Um, I can actually turn these down to get a little more ump back. Alexa, turn bar lights off. Okay. So you can see you've got all your individual strands of light and these are literally being ran off of this little control box, not like the old star kits that used a huge Zenon bulb, got super hot, couldn't mount them anywhere, you had to mount them remotely. This star kit goes right above the panels into a, the ceiling. And then our star kit goes on top of that. These can also be done for other various things if you really want to get creative and, and, and uh, light up little models and things of that sort, but we don't really do that. So that's a good overview of the, the star kit there. Um, what we'll end up using is two strands um, on this. So we have one for the front of the room, one for the back of the room, and it'll be all seamless. Alexa, turn bar lights on. Okay. And so that will finish this overview. A um, couple other things to note, you may have heard me. Um, so we'll do voice control in the theater room, of course. And uh, we'll be able to do the whole theater on with voice control and all lighting zones will be done with voice control. This will finalize the video and give you a quick overview of all the parts that are going into uh, Theater Design Company's demo room. To give you a quick overview on this, there's the star kits. So we've got two of those because we have two banks of the star kits from Epic Sky. 
and I should put on the video, I'll make a count of each strand. I think each one of these strands is somewhere in the range of 80 to 100 strands, but I'll clarify that with some subtitles. Uh, going back to the star kit, so you can see you've got a 232 in and out. So what we'll end up doing is we'll take the 232 out of this, we'll run a cap five into our first kit, as well as power, and then we'll do the same. We'll drop a, a link over and do 232 into our second kit. That will allow us to have 232 control via our RTI system. Um, two items not shown here um, as far as the lighting control. So we have two DIN rail modules that control this power supply for the star kit because the star kit just needs to be on or off. As well, we have a second DIN rail switch that controls the 60 watt DIN rail that turns the pathway lighting up into our stairs. So we have two sets of stairs and those both have uh, warm LED lights, which are um, in this pile here of all the RGBW and in there is just a warm white yellow. So that's how that gets controlled. And then the second thing not shown here is, you know, we have our Lutron radio raw system that is uh, linking in. It, it appears after looking, we'll do 232 into this to control the sconce lights and the uh, wall washer lights. So those get two Lutron radio rod dimmers. So those aren't shown. So there's basically four items um, that aren't shown here. Of course, cat five and wiring is all in place. So you won't see that. The second part of this will be the advanced pro controllers. So we have, a, so we have our advanced pro controllers. So we have one of these that will do our pathway lights all the way around the room and mention those are uh, fringed into the trim. Um, we're using a, uh, a Clues black um, aluminum housing with a frosted light to help with a little bit of the, the glow on it. And uh, so that will be the first advanced controller. That'll give us our, our full color control. Uh, again, we're doing uh, serial control on these and we uh, are looking to see if we need to link them or if we'll run individual serial controls. We have enough outputs of 232 on the RTI controller to do it either way. And then the second one uh, does our cove lighting. So the same thing. Um, same exact lighting temperatures on uh, both our pathway and our cove lighting have the same. And then uh, again, aluminum track in the cove lighting. You won't see that, so that will just uh, pop up in there. We probably won't put a frosted uh, lens on it, although we may for cleaning purposes. You can go up there and, and wipe it down if you had to. And then last, the last Vance Pro controller um, is a little bit different. It runs all the up lighting on our speakers. So that's uh, not only is it a higher wattage by about four watts per uh, meter, it's uh, going to be you know able to control those and we'll do them for scenes. And uh, the goal on that is on all of this is to do voice control. And then going over what we have, we have our fiber optic strands. We have all our power supplies. So these are all 320 watt power supplies. We have our power cords, which we won't use. Um, and then we have our, our rest of our stuff here to go through. So a lot of stuff going to this. If I, if I counted it out right, we have seven zones of lighting and uh, probably estimate it to be about 70 to 80 hours to install all of the uh, lighting in this project. Um, and that doesn't include the uh, pre-wiring that's already um, existing. We have conduit to all our light paths and we have uh, 12 two to our star ceiling. We have cat five to our star ceiling. And then we have our control system and our equipment racks in place. So we're uh, moving right along.